said, how do you how do you start slash grow a phytoplankton? The the phytoplankton, yeah. So you're gonna start off with a clean culture and you're gonna pick your species, whether it's tetrasalmus or nanochloropsis. Um, everyone asks me what the difference is, and I say honestly, I don't know, but I'll find the answer. Um, but yeah, start with a clean culture. Um, I like to culture my my um, phytoplankton in glass jars. Um, I feel like the glass is just easier to clean, easier to sanitize. Uh, when I use plastic, every time I, I scrub them out, I would leave little micro scratches, and I would realize after I was done culturing, I would still see green kind of etching in that mm. plastic. And then when I started my next culture, it would crash because you got to imagine the phytoplankton, they're, they must be delicious. I don't know. But everybody wants to eat them. Even the bacteria in the jar want to eat them. So I, I use the glass containers because I can dip them in bleach and I can really sanitize them, dry them. Um, I mix my seawater, again, to salinity 1.018. Um, I add my phytoplankton culture. And then I use an F2 fertilizer that I got from Amazon. Uh, the brand I use is uh, from Montana of Mercer. Um, they have a fertilizer that's already pre-mixed, so you just shake it up and then you put it in. Um, I know there's other companies like Pentair Aquatic Eco. Um, they're here in the States. They make a part A and part B fertilizer. You mix them together in equal ratios. And um, I use five milliliters of fertilizer per one gallon of culture. Um, I buy basically plant grow lights that are heavy on the red and white spectrum because that's better for photosynthesis. Um, I have these uh, little cheap air pumps I got from Amazon. I don't know. I'm going through the whole setup. I'm a big nerd. And I use a uh, rigid airline. Um, I do have videos on my TikTok and on my Facebook about what my setup looks like. But basically it looks like I'm just boiling green water <laughs> but um i think i think the circle back you can produce your own phytoplankton just make sure that every piece of equipment that you're using that touches the water is sanitized even your hands i clean my hands all the way down to my elbow because like the slightest bit of sweat or dirt that falls into that culture that culture is going to turn yellow and it's going to crash immediately wow and some of the biggest heartbreaks that I've ever had was uh, getting closer to one of the, the reef shows that I was at. I was so worried and I was stressed out. And I was like, am I going to have enough phytoplankton to, to fill the need, the need, this, that, blah. So I got a little careless and I introduced some type of contaminant to my phytocultures. In three days, the whole line, all 12 bottles, all 12 gallons just okay. went to nothing and i was like i am done i go i am done i already bought my booth like i'm supposed to be there i got about a i think it was like two weeks to to like fix this and i had to culture it real fast and i i got there and i bottled everything up but i was like yeah one careless mistake can cost you your entire culture so i also learned to shift so i'll culture six bottles on this week and then the following week i cultured the other set so i harvest these six and then i harvest the next six later just so i kind of keep them alternating so again if i do have a massive crash um i'm i'm not messed up and then the other thing is i also keep a few bottles in my fridge as a backup and what i do is once a day i shake them up because the phytoplankton likes to settle at the bottom and when it stays down here for too long, it'll suffocate itself and it'll die. So I just kind of shake it, keep it suspended, and it's good to go. And one of these bottles will last 30 days in your refrigerator. Really? That's wow. the whole thing about my phytoplankton. Sure. Um, I love the fact that you've got all these cultures just hanging around you. You just okay, sort of show me yeah. as you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I got little squirrel holes everywhere full of stuff. <laughs> um, Helen's asked, can you use standard marine salt for them? Yes, you can. And um, so what I do with my product is I, I want to have the best product. 
so I use Fritz RPM, the Reef Pro Salt. Um, I, I use it because I know the company. They're local to Texas. And, um, yeah, that's the way I started. Well, that, I didn't start with that. I started with the... Uh, I started with Instant Ocean. I started with just the regular Orange Box Instant Ocean Salt Salt. And then I moved on to um, Reef Crystals. And then after Reef Crystals, I decided to use the Fritz Salt because I was like, you know what? Let's make this a premium product. So the salt is going to be premium salt and you're going to get phytoplankton. And I just feel like it's a it's a better, it's a better product. But either way... Um, the salt doesn't matter. Just get it to the right salinity and just just have at it. 